Hi everyone and welcome to Tiana Treasures. Okay, so this is probably my favorite thing that you have ever made. Okay. Because it's so yummy. Because you're a foodie. Because I love food. <laughs> love food. Yes. <laughs> She's not lying about that. No. <laughs> and win Maggie's heart with a British accent and with food. <laughs> there you go. Good food. And I do hope that you make more cookbooks in the future. Oh, I plan on it. In fact, I have one already started. It's called Rebecca's Kitchen. And every time I make a really good dish in the kitchen and I remember the recipe, then I take a picture of it and go in the bedroom and, or in the office and uh, write down the recipe and put it in the picture really fast. So I am creating more. Don't worry. Yay. I'm glad. What is in this cookbook? In this cookbook is we have three um, basic recipes for matzah. So I created this book for the Feast of Unleavened Bread mm -hmm. to help people um, get away from eating the awful, awful, awful boxed matzah. <laughs> that stuff is awful. It's just, it's just like styrofoam. It's just awful. Yeah. And the whole thing with you have to like make matzah within 18 minutes of whatever. And for heaven, within 18 minutes total. I mean that's ridiculous. It's a rabbinical tradition. So I like a good matzah. Mm -hmm. So this is a book filled with three really basic matzah recipes. It's filled with some teaching on what matzah is about, what it represents, and um, the spiritual aspect of it, as well as it has um, things to do with the matzah, how to eat it throughout the week of unleavened bread. That might get a nummy experience. So why did you make a whole cookbook dedicated to matzah? Because eating of Yeshua is so important. He harps on that. He says, if you don't eat of me, then then you don't get into the happy labor after. And so the idea of eating uh, matzah during unleavened bread, we're eating of the unleavened matzah, unleavened one, basically. So we're supposed to practice during unleavened bread, eating of Yeshua. And I, and so while you eat the matzah, you're supposed to think about Yeshua. You're supposed to contemplate him and eat of him. So you intake him while you're, it's sim the bread is symbolic. It's about eating of him, but he is so prismatic and he's so wonderful. And there's so many aspects to Yeshua that we thought, uh, there's no way you could just eat matzah one way. A falafel and matzah, gyros, uh, you know, Maggie's matzah shells. You may remember at the TV, little matzah shells. Uh, old world rice, you know, you have beautiful one pizza. Uh, I know a lot of people um, have great recipes on how to use their matzah during the week of unleavened bread, but I decided to throw my two cents in there and, and help people celebrate and look at how beautiful uh, Yeshua is. Mm -hmm. Which one is your favorite? The sweet matzah. The sweet matzah. Uh, that one. <gasps> the puffed sweet matzah with strawberries and vanilla yogurt. See, the kids want to eat the matzah because it's beautiful and it represents him and they want to eat of Yeshua. So buy the book, make the matzah, and eat of Yeshua. Yay! <laughs>